Get out to 209 Tattoos, folks. Here he is, Nate Diaz, one of the biggest superstars in all of mixed martial arts. It's amazing to think where he could have taken his star power if he was in a regular cycle competing yes. every three months. Yes, if he fought as regularly as most guys, his star power would, would be even bigger. But Nate Diaz moves at his own pace. A phenomenal striker and a great jiu-jitsu tacticianer. You fall into Nate Diaz's guard, you will get submitted, as he's shown on a number of occasions. A fantastic fighter. Welcome back, Nate Diaz. You're not going to out-cardio these Diaz brothers. You're not going to out-tough Nate Diaz. And once again, he is facing top competition here tonight. We'll see how it goes for Nate Diaz here in his UFC return. Nate Diaz, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. in the business, Good Herb fight. Dean, is our referee Ready. tonight. Good. With a dozen wins by submission, here is Nate Diaz yet again. No, no, as a boxer, those hands are going to come at you right out of the shoot here tonight, and they probably won't stop over 15 minutes. Nate Diaz, a very tricky proposition, really for anyone at 155 or 170 pounds. Trying to establish that jab once again. Blocks the shot. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the 50s. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponent. And this looks like the start of that. Well, the round action here, Charles Oliveira pressing forward, guard high, in constant pursuit of his foe. Yeah, classic Muay Thai, man. Lifting that knee to draw to reaction. And if you give him too big a reaction, he will start you with that beautiful left hook. The guy has, has tremendous power, and he sets up the strike like not many guys in the UFC, or not many people in the UFC. So more output, at least in the early going. He lands another head kick. All right, early in the fight here, and Nate Diaz off to a pretty good start, found a home for that left hand. I mean, it is powerful. It does not seem like Nate is throwing it hard. But he always finds his target is very accurate with that straight left hand. So he kind of feeds the right hand to get you moving where he wants. And then, bang, he drops that straight left on you that hurts so many. Hurt Conor McGregor and 
he heard the welterweight champion, Leon Edwards, in the same way. He's going guillotine. That guillotine is tight. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. Diaz is looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Two minutes have gone by here in round one. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how peace he is as he attacks a submission or big round of pop. Olivera's pass attempt denied. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if Olivera's looking for a Darce choke here. Oh, Darce choke locked and loaded. Getting close to the finish. It's denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Diaz is looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Diaz is back in half court. Nice shot there by the champ. Now he's going full mount. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Under a minute now to go. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. That Darce is tight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what these guys brought to the Octagon and it showed in that defense. Oliveira getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he uh, tries to get back uh, up. Five minutes in the books. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round, both landed, multiple strikes, what a great round of fighting. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. Yeah, man, you see two high-level grapplers going after Ready it. Fight. One guy gets Ready. an advantage. The other guy Ready. always has a response. We thought it was over. A lesser opponent would have been submitted, but these two are two of the best grapplers in the entire UFC. All right, so perhaps a little frustration creeping in as our next round gets underway. Very close to submitting his opponent in the previous round, but was unable to do so. Wasn't able to do it, but he was so, so very close. He needs to try to put himself back in that position, and maybe this time he gets the finish he wants so badly. Try to establish that trap. Shot to the bottom. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, nice guillotine there. Good job by the champ there. Fighting back up. Posture's up now. That's a 
vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Rubber guard for him now, DC. Some people believe this is nothing more than a stall tactic. What do you think the offensive fighter is trying to do? He needs to regain his posture, right? He needs to shove that foot down from around his neck, shove it down, build your base, get that arm free, and then get back to work trying to advance position to your ground and pound. Right. If you play in there, you can find yourself in a lot of danger if you're not careful. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, he's got his back. Three minutes to go. Oliver is able to flatten him out. This could very well be the beginning of the end. All these actions, though, these big actions, got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Diaz getting pampered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. Grounded pound strike here. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. All right, setting up for a submission now. This dude is a wizard on the ground. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. You gotta be kidding me, he's out. There it is, now he's going to ball. Under two minutes now to go. Oliveira's in half court. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, he might be in trouble. That looks locked in. He's advanced to a finishing position. Good job by the champ there. Slide back out. Man, look how flexible those legs are. He's got him in rubber guard. I don't think I could do that much right I mean, John, don't sell yourself short. <laughs> you just might be able to do it. But if you do, John, you're doing it with the idea that... Oh, another submission attempt by him now. Your hook looks tight. submission and he bided his time there he stayed patient waited for an opening and then when it was there he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight all right so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground dc talk us through the highlight he's such a phenomenal grappler i don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you he is the best grappler best submission specialist we've seen in a long time All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 54 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a heel hook. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles the Bronx. So there he is, the still UFC lightweight champion of the world. A lot of steam here during fight week that maybe there were a few things that could plague him tonight. Look, this